I've been DJing since 82, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I heard a fucking mixtape that my cousin brought from Brooklyn. I kept hearing them dudes start this record over, and I'm like, man, how the hell they do that? First thing I did was went to my dad's old tape deck and got a record, rewind the shit, and let the pause off. So I already knew about the one and two beats on shit, you know what I mean? And then start over, boom. So I was really DJing and didn't even know it. But by the time I got on two turntables, that's when I knew about the, the first beat. Boom, cat, do, 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 cat. you know, the one, two, three, four, boom. I used to move the needle back. I didn't know that motherfucker was spinning the record back. So first time I got on the turntable, it was a little knob mixer. It wasn't even a crossfade. I used to have to turn the knob from one turntable to the other and shit. Y'all know I'm old school. Niggas <laughs> know I got to know what the fuck I'm talking about. I think it was that song by Boosie, Body Slam. I'm going to teach you how to body slam. Hit me. Then I moved the needle back. It take me a while. I find it, then I hold a record, and you can hear Drake. Hit me! Duh. You know what I mean? The first time I saw Wild Style, when they showed Grandmaster Flash and them, and they were stirring them records back, because I still had the rubber mat on my platter. I didn't know that you had to go get some felt cut out and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about these like 83, 82, 83, bro. Like, I'm in the seventh, eighth grade doing this shit. Nobody else in Atlanta knew what the fuck was going on. I was way, way, way ahead of my fucking time. Anybody who was up on that shit had to be from somebody from up north or somebody who done been up north because motherfuckers, when you say a DJ back in the day, they just think of a nigga on the radio station. They didn't think about a motherfucker scratching and starting records over. So I used to lot of people, man, make pause button tapes before I actually got two turntables telling people that I got a whole studio at my house. Lying like a motherfucker. Like I said, I started off DJing, so that's what play a part in my beats right now is I've been up on the counts of beats and shit. Like, I didn't go to music school, not encouraging nobody to not go to music school, you know what I mean? It's something that was just naturally in me, man. I was born with it, you know what I mean? As far as just the, the knowledge of music, you know, my dad taught me about harmony and about certain shit being in the right key. So I learned how to harmonize when I was like, what, seven years old. And after playing so many records, man, I just knew how music was supposed to sound. I knew what the intro of a song was. You could tell when the hook was about to come. And that's the same way that you wait for the breakdown to come to mix your next record in. You know what I mean? When all the vocals, cause a DJ is never supposed to let two sets of vocals play together when you mixing one record to the other. You either wait, either cut the instrumental in and then mix a new record in with vocals or wait till that song break down and bring the intro of this song in. So all that shit is really production. A DJ is almost like a producer. He's watching what the crowd likes. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I still basically DJ and produce. I go to the strip club, pay attention to what make motherfuckers bob their head. I just watch the crowd, man, and boom. I, I, that, that's basically what I feed off of. For more on this Raw Report news clip, visit news.rawreport.com. <laughs>